Most of us take our teeth and our smiles for granted until something goes wrong. When we break a tooth or pain sets in, or if we experience an inability to smile, chew, or perhaps enjoy hot or cold drinks, most of us immediately think of seeing our dentist. What could possibly be wrong? Did you know that problems such as joint pain, fractured teeth, muscle spasm and headaches, hot and cold sensitivity issues, and chewing pain are frequently caused or exacerbated by either a worn out bite, faulty dental work, or even orthodontic treatment? Digital bite adjustments using T-scan technology can usually eliminate or at least sequester such problems. Precise and predictable dental treatment can be expected with the addition of T-scan technology to dental treatment, as this technology allows the dentist to harmonize the relationship between jaw muscles, jaw bones, and teeth. Dentistry deals with two primary goals, decreasing bacterial load and decreasing excessive forces in the masticatory or chewing system. This presentation deals with managing the forces generated by the human bite or occlusion and the effect such uncontrolled forces can have on an individual. Dr. Nick's definition of occlusion, the contact between the upper and lower teeth directly influenced by the two pivot points that are the TMJs and the complex sling of muscles that control not only opening and closure, but the peripheral movements made by the lower mandible and function. Teeth are shaped as they are for a reason. Faulty dentistry creates contours that throw the alignment off between the muscles, joints, and teeth. Even the finest dental work, if improperly aligned, can throw off this delicate balance. This is where the T-scan application shines, increasing the predictability of dental treatment by allowing the dentist to control the forces in the patient's mouth. Traditionally, dentists use an ink ribbon known as articulating paper to check someone's bite after performing dental work. This ink ribbon resembles typewriter ribbon and leaves colored marks on the teeth that the dentist then interprets as either being acceptable above the bite or high, or below their bite or low. This ribbon does a decent job of showing where the parts of the teeth contact, the opposing teeth, but unfortunately does next to nothing to show how much they touch in a given time period. Think about it. As this fluid and dynamic system moves, ebbs and flows, the teeth rub this way, then that way, but not exactly the same way again, over time. What if within this movement there lies an interference or speed bump between a top tooth and say a bottom tooth that does not belong there? Trouble. Research has proven that the ink ribbon that just about every dentist on the planet uses every day does nothing to quantify or show how hard or how much the teeth are hitting one another, neither when simply biting together nor once dynamically swinging around in the figure eight patterns that we all engage in thousands of times a day while chewing. Great, right. Open big. Thank you. The T-scan handle and sensor actually measures the force generated over time as the patient bites into the sensor and mimics chewing strokes, allowing the dentist to study the data, identifying exactly where and when the problems may lie in the bite, an infinite improvement over just the ribbon itself. Please understand that a healthy bite generally consists of an equal proportion of force load between the left and right teeth, and ideally the front teeth should separate the back teeth when one chews both to the left and to the right. See the kite? This promotes a peaceful Still and happy on the left, back. See the graph? However, it's not back here like it was before. It's getting a little better. But we still got issues. Your lower molars tip is kind of forwards and up. Treatment consists of selectively and very carefully removing the interference after marking the area again with the colored pipe ribbon. This procedure is painless, necessary, and minimally invasive. Occasionally, once these interferences or speed bumps are removed from back teeth, two colored bonding procedures are accomplished on the front teeth, most typically the canines, to further ensure that the back teeth do not bump against one another while chewing. This ensures a healthier occlusion and a healthier range of motion. It eliminates right, right. many of the problems associated with an imbalanced bite. A subsequent reading using the T-scan demonstrates this permanent change in the patient's bite right. as the center of force kite is located right in the center of the graphic on the right, indicating a much more even, stable, and healthier situation. The patient now has a balanced bite, approaching a 50-50 right-to-left scenario, which eliminates many of the symptoms of an imbalanced bite. T-scan digital bite analysis allows the dentist to accurately quantify the patient's bite, ensuring a stable and asymptomatic occlusion. Welcome to the future of precise and predictable dentistry. 
I'm Dr. Nick Yanios.